Hey everybody, my name is Brad Langdell and I'm going to teach you about physics whether you like it or not. Uh, the topic we're looking at right now is called static equilibrium. And uh, you can really break it down into the two basic words and, and you can figure out what it's talking about here. Static means not moving. So if you're static, you are still, you're at rest, you're not moving. And equilibrium means balance. So you can really get an idea when uh, a physics question talks to you about static equilibrium. We must be talking about an object that is not moving, and something about that object must be balanced. And as you can see below here, I've written that the net force is the thing that's going to be balanced. Remember, the net force is the sum of all of the forces, all of the forces acting on an object in the x and y directions. The sum is zero when these forces are balanced. So we're going to work through some problems today where pro objects are at equilibrium, and we see these forces being balanced, or we see the net force adding up to zero. So let's take a look at one particular problem like that. Uh, this one says two cables suspend a 450 Newton engine. The ropes are both at 25 degrees from the horizontal, and they act in opposite directions. And here you can see the ropes. There's one, and there's the other. So what's the force of tension in each of the ropes? Well. In order to find the force of tension in this particular example, we're going to have to work out, first of all, the net force acting on this, uh, on this engine. And to do that, we're going to have to make a free body diagram of all of the vectors acting on this object. So we're just going to make a free body diagram to start off with. A free body diagram is a diagram that only shows uh, the forces that are acting on the object. We don't have to draw the engine in or anything like that. So for my students, usually the first force we talk about, the easiest one, is the force of gravity. That's pointing down. And in this case, the force of gravity is the same as the weight. It's 450 newtons. So that's given to us in the question that's kind of helpful. The other two forces that are acting here are these forces of tension from our wires. Tension is just a force that's present in a rope or wire. So there's one force of tension there. There's one force of tension there. So I'll go and draw that out in my free body diagram like so. Here's one force of tension. Here's the other force of tension. They're both at 25 degree angles, and they're both equal, because if these two ropes are the same length, then the force is going to be the same that's felt in each of the ropes. The tension will be the same. And I think the ropes are the same length, so this must mean the tension is equal for both of them. Now. Let's see if we can do some work to figure out, um, uh, oh, I don't know, what the net force statement is for this particular um, free body diagram. So the first thing I think I would do is I'd realize that because we have two dimensions, get rid of that hand, because we have two dimensions here, the x and the y dimension, we're going to have to break this tension vector into both x and y components. So I'll just draw one of them over here on the side. Okay, so there's one and it is a force of tension. We've got a y component that I'll write as Fy, and we've got an x component that I'll write as Fx. And the angle up here was 25 degrees. Okay, so that's pretty good. So when I go to do a net force statement, I've got to do a net force statement in the x and the y direction. Notice I said net force statements, not statement. So let's do the x direction first, I guess. The net force in the x is equal to, let's see, what do we have in the x direction? Well, we've got forces of tension in the x direction. One from the first, one from the first uh, wire here, force of tension in the x and one from the second wire. And you could probably see even from the diagram here that these two forces of tension are equal and opposite. When I add them together, they are going to give me zero. And that's good because I want my net force statement to be zero if this is static e equilibrium. Remember, net force is always zero in the x and y for static equilibrium. So that works out. Now let's look at the y direction. I'm actually going to erase that, I think, so I have room to do the y direction. What are the forces acting in the y? This is Boschman, call the office, please. This is Boschman, call the office. So, in the y direction, we have the force of gravity, and we've got, let's see, 
force of tension in the Y, one right here from the first rope. And then we've got another one actually from the second rope as well. So there's one force of tension in the Y. There's two forces of tension in the Y. And they're going to be equal. So if I was to simplify this down a little bit here, let's see what I can do. The force net in the Y direction is zero. Again, because this is static equilibrium. The force of gravity is 450 newtons. And there are two equal forces of tension in the Y direction. So if I do a little bit of algebra here, I move my 450 to the other side by subtracting 450 newtons from both sides. I get 450 newtons is equal to 2 of force of tension in the Y. So force of tension in the Y direction is equal to 225 degrees, uh, degrees, sorry, newtons. Well, so far so good, but that isn't our answer. We're not looking for the force of tension in the Y direction. We're looking for the net force of tension. So back to our vector triangle, I guess. 225 newtons, that's the Y component. If I want to find the hypotenuse here, I think I'm going to have to use sine. I've got my angle here of 25 degrees. I've got the opposite side is 225. I'll find the force of tension using sine. So sine of 25 degrees equals the opposite side, 225 newtons, over the force of tension. So the force of tension is equal to, pull out my calculator here. Here it comes. Two hundred and twenty-five um, divided by the sine of twenty-five degrees. So five hundred and thirty-two point three nine. I guess for significant digits, we're going to call this uh, five point three times ten to the two times ten to the two newtons. Doesn't really look like a two. There we go. Now uh, it looks a bit like a two newtons. That is the force of tension in the wire. It looks like a lot, it's a little sloppy, but as you can see, the big ideas are there. The net force in the x and y direction have to be zero if it's static equilibrium. So we have a net force statement in the y direction. We did one in the x, but we found that was zero as well. And then from there, it's just doing a bit of work with vectors. So I hope this helped. And uh, if you have any more questions or problems, check out my website at ldindustries.ca. Take a look at the notes for this material. Hope that helped. We'll see you guys later.